Well, happy 4th of July, 2022. How's everybody doing? Carmine from New York here. We have a very special class today. Macro photography. We will be going over a few of my tricks of the trade that I've been doing for over 50 years, taking macro shots. Now, today we will be specializing in indoor controlled lighting macro photography. When I was hired years ago to do a photo shoot for a bakery slash candy company, a mm, few years ago, I don't remember when, I'm going to put those photographs up, uh, I'll put them up uh, at the end of this video. It incorporated uh, some very special props. Some Oreo cookies, uh, I think. <laughs> but most importantly, what it incorporated were some real fun uh, miniatures that you can purchase online. These are miniature uh, people at work, okay? This is made by a company called Presser, P-R-E-I-S-E-R. -E -E These are quite expensive, hand-painted. Uh, you get about, I don't know, three or four different characters in different types of uh, environments, okay? This set is uh, people at work, okay? It works, it, believe me, it, it works together when you're doing macro photography, when you have giant, what it appears to be giant cookies, right? And small people on top of the cookies. It looks fantastic. This set also by Pressa, right? More people at work, okay? And this is my favorite. This set uh, <laughs> is miniature photographers <laughs> these are miniature uh photographers doing different things with different cameras um females males this is very exciting stuff so over the years when i take indoor macro photography i'll use props like the ones i just showed you i'll take some fresh fruit this happens to be a plum that I took from the refrigerator. Shh, don't tell my wife. And I'll do things with this, like uh, not cut it up, but break it open, smush it a little bit, right? Put it on a nice black background. And then to that, I'll add some of my other props that I've been collecting for over 50 years. What I'm about to show you is real. Three horned beetle, gigantic, right? This is real. These are real dead bugs. Where do I get these? On Etsy, E-T-S-Y. There are a few professional uh, insect sellers, right? All dead, okay? Um, by the way, I keep all this stuff, not anything that'll rot, but I keep them all in these totes right these are my macro photography prop boxes when you've been doing this for 50 years you accumulate a lot of stuff uh, more to my uh, collection of uh, different bugs right all kinds of beetles and uh, flying insects okay some of them some of them are very inexpensive. Like you can get, they'll send you five or six small bugs for, for a small price, right? The larger ones are, of course, more money, right? This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful bug, okay? Uh, and what I like about them 
when you get them on Etsy from professional insect taxidermy sellers is that they're not pinned. There's not a big giant pin going through their back, breaking them up and making holes in them and, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. You'll get some bugs from some sellers in these types of, uh, I don't know, delicatessen containers. And uh, they'll take these uh, tissues, they'll soak them in alcohol, right? And then they'll ship them. I don't even remember what's in this one. Let's take a look. It's always a surprise. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I think this one... I think this is um, the tarantula hawk. Okay. Gigantic. Okay. Absolutely gigantic. Now, you might say, aren't the macro photographs going to look like just dead bugs? Well, no. Because what I'll do is I have a little mister. If you can give me a moment. It's up here somewhere. It's a little, well, I could just tell you about, oh, here it is. Hold on more more photography gear everywhere okay so i'll take this little spray bottle okay and i fill it with alcohol you don't really want to sp spray water on your expensive taxidermy bugs right because that'll just accelerate their rot so you you would take for example some fresh fruit, strawberries are my favorite, but I don't have any here today, right? Because they're very colorful. Uh, you take a plum, you break it open, you smush it, right? You would take that, for example, that tarantula hawk, and you put it on top of the mix of uh, broken up fruit. And then with your alcohol, you spray his wings, you spray his whole body, you spray the whole area, and it rejuvenates this dried taxidermy dead bug it gives it i'm not gonna say it gives it life but it makes it look not dead if you can understand what i'm saying okay uh let's continue let's see what we have here i don't even know so many things to show you in my collection all right um Here's something else. Oh, these are pretty. These are very pretty. These are from all around the world. Okay. Here's one. Now, don't forget. I don't take these photographs for a scientific or etymology book. This is to create art. So, you're not going to see in my photographs the species of bugs and where it's from that's not the point the point is to use these bugs as uh the focus of your attention of your the focus of your attention in these uh art photographs now this one the reason this is beautiful is it has a blue tinge to it absolutely beautiful okay there's more in here. All right. These are dead. There's some kind of cricket. Okay, let's put them back. Okay. So that's just an example of a few uh, from one seller. Okay, on Etsy. Okay. I buy all my stuff. Etsy is just a, you know, like eBay. They just uh, are a vehicle for, for people to sell their stuff. All right. This is just gorgeous, this guy. I wouldn't want to meet him when he was alive. Okay. They are fragile, so you have to be careful, right? This kind of beetle with these gigantic, with these gigantic pincer, pincher mouth parts, whatever in the front, right? But they're just gorgeous. Look at the colors on these little critters. 
Okay, so like I said, um, your imagination, just use your imagination when it comes to macro photography. Okay, so you've seen some of the little critters. Okay, I have one more seller. One more seller I'm going to show you. Okay, this, this, com these come in these wonderful boxes. This says, South American Hypocrita Durce Recto <laughs> Moth. Okay. It looks like a butterfly, but it's not. It's a moth from South America. And this seller uh, goes the extra mile and really protects their species that they sell. Okay. They flatten them. Well, that's not the right word. They dry them wings open, no pins. Okay, in this box, um, I you have to be careful, right? You take them out. I was gonna, I was actually just gonna reach for tweezers, but that would be the wrong thing to do because you don't want to really touch them with metal. But they do come out of the box. These are real. These aren't silk, right? I really don't want to break these little guys. See? These, these make some beautiful macro photographs that you're going to see in just a few minutes at the end of this video. See, the person even makes a little divot for their body to go in. Right? And then this box closes with a glass top to keep everything nice and flat. And there's one more that I got from myself. These are these I would say expensive, right? Um, maybe eight nine dollars when I bought them. This is a red African Cymothi sangreus butterfly. Now this one is a butterfly. Okay, just gorgeous. That red color, it's just amazing. Okay, so you've seen the bugs, right? You've seen, well, I'm going to show you now, M&Ms, right? Uh, some of the props I might use today in some of the photos you see. Some cookies, some M&Ms, right? Some people at work. Now, you could get these on eBay or, uh, or on Amazon. Um, that's the maker of these. Th these are expensive. Like this one, bought these years and years ago. Some of these are 20 bucks for uh, six people, right? Sometimes, sometimes you pay $20 for one person, okay? I don't want to open it because once it hits the floor, it's gone. Now, a few other things. When I'm doing macro photography, some of the tools I'll use, right, are these guys, right? These are on Amazon. These are like, you could find these uh, if you Google uh, small part holder, watch repair, jewelry, tools, right? This is like a, this is like a second set of hands, right? If you wanted to hold, let's say a bug, right? For a shot, right? You can hold, you can put them in these little alligator clips, right? And you can extend it, right? And keeping the metal out of the shot, right? You can have the butterfly like flying, right? They're so inexpensive, it's good to have two. And these are very heavy. These are very heavy weighted, right? Like, for example, depending on who you get them from, right? Look at the difference in the base, the thickness of the base, right? This base is twice as heavy as this base. So keep that in mind when you're looking for these, uh, for these items, okay? You want the heavier, the better. The heavier the better. Because you never know what you're going to want to put on one of the alligator clips. It might be something heavy, you know. It might be, uh, a, a uh, like for example, I was doing close-ups of insides of watches, wrist watches. You know, the old, from 1800s, you know. So you might want to hold the watch in here. It could get pretty heavy, right. And you want to turn it, get it into the light. Okay. Uh... So that brings us to lighting, macro 
photography lighting. So uh, I have used every kind of macro photography lighting there is from just the sun, right, to the sun with a reflector, to a flash, right, with a piece of cardboard coming over the lens, right, to have reflection, uh, to some uh, homemade modifications. You know, when you take a Pringles can and you put it inside, you put it on the outside of your flash and the Pringle can, and you make a hole in the Pringle can so the light only comes down, you know, onto your subject. <sighs> then as years and years go by, you, you end up with a collection of uh, macro lighting. Here's one I've had good success with, okay? This is the Bolt, B-O-L-T. It's the model VM260. You just put a couple of batteries in here, right? And what these are, these are real flash tubes, right? These are real xenon flash tubes. Very long, and you would just mount it on top of your camera, okay? And then you bring down the arms, and you light up your subject, okay? And... Uh, for you film shooters out there, using flash for your macro photography, because you can't instantly see how the exposure is, I don't recommend them. These are fine, okay? These are not a lot of money. The Bolt, um, you, can, you can adjust the brightness here, right? The Bolt VM260, these are not a lot of money, right? But I recommend these only for uh, you digital shooters. Okay, because, you know, these aren't, this isn't TTL. So you have to be careful with your, with the power of your light. You don't need, that's another thing. You don't need a lot of light for macro photography. Okay, which brings us to my newest find. Now, remember, I'm not sponsored by anyone except CarmineTaverna.com, my website, where I don't sell anything. I just give you guys ideas on equipment and the kinds of photographs you can take. I picked this up on Amazon, the macro arm light from JJC. I've had good luck with this company, JJC. I bought these. I bought these. Okay. What this is. Oh, by the way, it was delivered with tax on Amazon was $17.64 delivered okay this is so cool I'm going to be showing you photographs taken with this today now this also okay has a cold shoe mount it goes on top of your camera right in your hot shoe but your hot shoe won't fire it there's no pins to connect it because this is constant lighting, okay? So, the way this works is, by the way, what are we shooting with today? Olympus, OMD, EM1 Mark II. The lens, it's a macro lens from Seven Artisans. It's the 60 millimeter lens, manual focus for the micro. I saved it. <laughs> Let's put it down. For the Micro Four Thirds system. This is real, folks. I show you everything. You know how you have the blooper reel? <laughs> I show you everything. Okay. Let's just clean it off. Okay. Where were we? I hope this works now. So you slide it into your hot shoe. It has little a little wheel where you tighten it up. Okay. Now, this is how this is supposed to work. Okay. All right. This is the JJC Macro Arm Light um, Flex Arm. Okay. So here's how it's supposed to work. You're going to see the photographs taken with this today. And you now you decide if you want to spend a whole $17.64 for macro lighting. Is it good? Does it stink? I don't know. So anyway, 
this is the idea. You don't want it. You don't want it in front of the lens. Okay. So here's the idea. The idea is that each side runs independently. What's the power source? Two flat batteries, two watch batteries. Okay. So let me just show you. I could point this to the camera. Okay. So each one has uh, like low, medium, and high. Okay. Actually, it has off, low, and high on one side. Off, low, and high. Okay. So this is the, I'll shine it there so you can see the brightness of it. Okay. Shine it on my face so you can see how bright it is. Okay. So you would find your subject, right? Let's say it's this Oreo cookie. Okay, and remember how photography works. You're photographing light, reflecting off your subject. That goes back to the dawn of time. So, if you keep your lighting this way, straight down, okay, all your photographs will look bright on the top and everything around it will be not lit. So don't make that mistake of having all your light come down this way. You want to manipulate your lighting so it comes off on the sides. Okay? Now remember, don't, don't get the light fixture into, into the shot. Okay, get it as close as possible. Okay, so that's what you want. You want your subject, you want your subject to be lit, okay, to reflect right back into the lens, right back into the sensor or the film, right? Because the light's going to go out this way, hit the subject, and go make a straight line back, okay? If you had it this way, right? And then you had your lighting coming up, one up and one down. Yeah, you could get some shadow effects, okay? But for better macro photographs, you want to shoot with the lights on either side, okay? Let's say you were doing a portrait, right? You wouldn't just have all the light coming from on top, right? You would have the light coming from the sides. So this is what I will be shooting with today, this setup. And you're about to see the photographs taken with the Olympus Beast 4 3rd system, the OMD EM1 Mark II, seven artisans, 60 millimeter macro lens. It's a one-to-one. -one. Now, one thing I wanted to show you Okay, this is going to be enough, this lens. It's, it's going to get close enough. But let's say you don't have a macro lens. Close-up filters. This set, right, less than $20 on Amazon. It's made by Vivitar. Okay. You just buy a set. They come in sets of four from... Uh, 1x, 2x, 4x, and 10x, which means 10 times magnification. Okay? You just screw this into the front of your lens. Okay? And it turns even your regular 50 millimeter kit lens, turns it into a macro lens. No one will be able to tell the difference that you use a close up filter instead of a dedicated macro lens. Okay, I think I went over everything I wanted to show you. Um, so don't run out of ideas. That's the whole point of today's class. Things around the house, okay? Cookies, candies, okay? I did a whole episode uh, with my Pentex 645D 
medium format digital camera where I just went outside flowers and I don't know if there was any bugs that day it was a little cold okay then if you want to step up your game and you want to buy uh, or go outside and look for bugs okay get your own bugs for free but if you don't live in the Amazon you're not gonna find bugs like this okay guys <laughs> so uh, let's look at the photographs that I took today with this setup. Now, since this is battery, let's shut these, right? It only uses little, little flat cell batteries. I don't know how long it's going to last, these little batteries. This little light, these lights aren't that big, so hopefully they don't use a lot of juice. But anyway, let's look at the photographs right now that I took today with this setup. With the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera, the 7 Audison 60mm dedicated macro lens, one to one. What does one to one mean? Do you remember? It means that if a subject that you're photographing is this big, like this MM, it will be the exact size of the MM on your sensor or film. All right, guys, that's what one-to-one -one means. It's very important. All right, guys, let's look at the macro photographs I took indoors today, 4th of July, 2022, before I head out to a massive barbecue. Take it easy, guys. Happy 4th of July. Let's look at the macro shots right now. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own